Near the Gilbrook Nature Trail in Colchester, a new brewery recently opened that will soon be bringing the alcoholic honey drink known as Mead to the shelves of Vermont stores. Named Grenfell Meadery, this small factory is run by two native Vermonters with a passion for brewing and fermenting beverages, especially mead. The Defender visited Grenfell to see this new brewery in progress. I'm Kelly Klein, and I'm the CEO here at Grenfell Meadery. Mm. A very nerdy kind of play on words. It's um, Old Norse for Green Mountain, and Vermont is Old French for Green Mountain. So, I'm Ricky Klein, and I'm the head mead maker and co-owner. But some may ask, what is mead, and how is it made? Mr. Klein was happy to explain the process of making the drink. So, mead is stupidly simple. Mead is honey, water, and yeast. We start with 930 pounds of honey, uh, split between a barrel and a half, and we use a drum warmer, bring it to exactly 108 degrees. Why 108 degrees? That's the point at which the honey flows well enough that we can really pour it out of the drum but we're not heating it so hot that we're starting to see any of the flavors change. We then have an on-demand, super high efficiency water heater that runs through a charcoal filtration system and runs straight into our mix tank. Uh, we put about 300 gallons of 120 degree water in there so that by the time everything mixes together, once again, we're right around 110 degrees. We'll then run it into our tank through an aeration system and follow it up with cold water once again through the, the charcoal filtration system. Uh, then it's a matter of waiting. Our fermentation at 68 degrees takes somewhere in the neighborhood of five or six days of really active fermentation. Well, I've been brewing for years and I was working at a homebrew shop and consulting with breweries to pay for my master's degree and uh, one day realized that I much preferred this than what I was getting my master's in. So I completed my degree and, and started this business instead. I actually know quite a bit about it from talking to him, brewing with him, um, and having a general love for fermented beverages. This, the only incident we've had so far is we had a soft line on our coolant system come detached. and We lost about 20 gallons of coolant, but I mean, that's it's all food grade, so it was just a lot of mopping. It was frustrating more than anything. Though the mead will not be available for sale until November, the clients have high hopes for their product. Our hope is to be America's first everyday mead. We want to be, there are plenty of meaderies out there, but they are substantially more expensive than we are hoping to be on the shelf. Um, and we want to be that mead that at the end of a long day, you'll ask yourself, hard cider, beer, or mead, and it'll be ours. For The Defender at St. Michael's College, I'm Patrick Cope.